Hey everyone, it's Calvin, also known as Orin. This is Pokemon Legends Arceus. This is my first ever playthrough of Pokemon Legends Arceus. We're off to find a Drift Flute. I talked to Miki, and it was actually like a pretty interesting conversation. Miki was basically saying over here that there was a Drift Flute playing with some kids, or spotted playing with some kids. Nobody knows if the Drift Flute is trying to do any harm to anybody, and I assume it isn't. Drift Flute, our Drift Flute is beautiful. Uh, but also at the same time, I think we just have to ensure the safety of the children as well. But the most interesting part about this side quest is that... Look how beautiful this is. The most interesting part of this side quest is that the Drift Loon... Um, that the kids won't even say anything about the Drift Loon. I don't know, I'm kind of interested to see where this goes. This is where we started. This is where this whole game started eight hours ago. Do we go inside here or do we go behind here? Behind here, okay. Survey core guy over here. Um, I want to go home now, but Drifflin won't let me go. Oh, Drifflin, what's is that type of kid? Can you help me, please? Uh, can do. Boom. <laughs> Elbow into the face. Drifflin's really cute, though. Yay, now I can finally go home. But hey, uh, Drifflin didn't mean to be bad. It always played together with me. It's real friendly, so I kept it secret from everyone. Oh, my name's Taki. See you around, Survey Corps boy. Taki. Or Takai. That's like, I don't know, like, to me, like, it, Drifloon seems like just the type of, like, kid almost that, like, we always had that like, one kid we hung around with, right, when we were like, uh, oh, I want to get this off the screen. I put, I, I couldn't, I couldn't find my house for a second. Uh, I, knew, I knew I could find it if I looked for it hard enough, but, like, I was just like, I'm just going to put it on the map. <laughs> um, but, yeah, um... Drifloon is that type of kid who, like, you know, it's like, my mom says I have to go in for dinner. It's like, I'll just tell your mommy you get five more minutes. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like, no, like, I like I, I want dinner. <laughs> I'm I'm hungry. <laughs> it's like, oh, sure, I'll come in for dinner. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's like, you know, hey, my mom says uh, we have to stop playing PlayStation. You have to go home. I mean, like, I can stay here. It's like, no. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> um, that type, I don't know, that type of kid. Hey, Mickey. I see you've been looking towards the worries and Drifloon for us. What have you found out? I see, so little Taki was trying to keep Drifloon from getting in trouble. All the same, he was in considerable danger. Without your help, goodness knows where the Drifloon would have taken him by now. I'd be remiss if I didn't follow up on this troubling incident. I'll urge Captain Caesar to post extra security corp guard on the Prelude Beach at once. For now, I'm thankful the situation resolved without any harm. Thank you, truly, for helping keep, keep us keep everyone safe. That was an easy quest. That was an easy quest. Can we manage our... Where do we manage our storage? I know we, there is a place we can manage our storage. Um, uh, I think is it, it might be in our house, actually. Uh, again, like, one of those things that, like, I think, you know, it's easy to, to forget. And I'm not saying that, like, you know, I, I deserve a pass when it comes to, like, gameplay mechanics. Because that's not what I'm saying. Uh, but, but what happens with me is that I tend to play a game for, like, an hour and a half. The next day I'll play for an hour. And then I won't play that game for, like, another few... Here we go. For another, like, while. Oh, all of our stuff to put in our storage. Put the... Put the... Move all at once. Uh, let's see what else we can put in here. Uh, let's move all these items to storage. We're not gonna need these. Uh, let's see what else we can put in storage for now. Um... Let's see. I might put just put two of these. No. Um, a medicinal leak. Let's see. I want to keep these out just in case. XP candy for feather balls and stuff. XP candy. Uh, we can move this to all at once over here. I'm not too pressed about that. Um, rare candy. Move all at once. Just so we can have some extra storage because we're traveling around the place not being able to do anything yet. We can craft these and get some space. Hardy grains. We, we're going to put... Um, four of them here, because we only need three of them right now. We can craft more heavy balls, I think, at some point, if we have some apricorns, which we can totally get. We can totally get some apricorns. Uh, but for now, I think I'm pretty good. I think the Pokeballs are still doing us good a good job. We'll see, though. Um, Grit Dust. You know what? Let's put the stuff over here until we need them. You know what I mean? We know we can like we can use them at some point, or know that we can, we will we're gonna need them at some point. There we go. 
And it's not that like we're trying to get rid of them or anything. It's not like we, don't, we won't need them, but like we know where they are at least when we go back to get them. And that's fine with me. And that's fine with me. I love evening time here. It's actually pretty great. Okay, so what's the next quest we're going to do? We're going to be going on with the main quest as well. But I also want to do some uh, some side quests as well. Bloom or not to bloom. Uh, we need to build the wood. There we go. Okay, so he wants a ponyta. Because everyone... This, this town is really pretty. And like, in a way, there was always like... Um... Like a hub world, you could always return back to like Pallet Town, for example. But it's not the same as this. Not even close to being the same as this. Hello, sir. Hey, you kinda you kinda you kinda handsome. Yoda, you kinda handsome. Hey. How you doing? It's me. Your future husband. Uh you hear about my ponytail request, right? Glad to have some help at least at last. Here's the problem. A ponytail like no one's ever seen before has appeared in the horseshoe plains. It looks different than the other ponita. It's a little scary to be honest. But when I told the professor, he got all excited about researching it, so we agreed to have the ponita surveyed and see what's what. If you'd have to horseshoe planes and catch the strange ponita for us, I'd really help us out. Okay, but if I catch it, it's mine. If I catch the ponita, it is mine, and there's nothing you can do about it. Didn't need to do the evil voice for that, but still. Okay, um, we're gonna do that as well, of course. Uh, but uh, let's see, can we sort these again? Oh, here we go. Uh, mushroom cake marinade. We have these. Let's go do this really quickly. That's over here. Oh, we can do that all, all in one go. That's fine. Um, let's see. Strange happenings at midnight. Uh, we have to search. Actually, we might actually do this one right now. But I think we have to go at nighttime, right? So let's pass the time until nighttime. Because there's, there's no quest marker there, so I'd assume that we have to go at nighttime. I don't know. I think that, like, like the side quests in this game are actually kind of good. Because, like, here's the thing. Here's my feeling on side quests. And I know people have different feelings on side quests. Either you go full-on and make them full-on stories, like Witcher 3 style, and make them so freaking interesting that they're, like, absolutely incredible. Or you go and do, like, Last of Part 2 style, where a side quest is literally just exploring a building that, like, you know, you get extra items for, and it feels like it's a real, really part of the world. Or you go and do something like this, which is just, like, really simple. They're really easy to finish, and they're just, like, funny or, like, fun to do. They're not tedious or anything. Uh, to me, the worst type of side quests are, like, gather seven Glipblops, and the Glipblops are not even on the map. You don't know where they are, and it's just really freaking tedious. Thank God Xenoblade fixed that with the remake, like, because then Xenoblade went from being, to, for me, like, an 8 out of 10, because, like, the story's incredible, the characters are amazing, but the side quests, like, tore that game down to being, like, a 10 with the re remake, <laughs> the remaster, I should say. Ready to investigate my place? I'm ready, yeah. If you get what I'm saying, like, Xenoblade is just, like, it's a classic. It's so good. Even the original one was really good. I swear there's something in there. Check every nook and cranny for me, okay? No. I would check one nook and one cranny. You have to pay me extra for the other stuff. <laughs> wow, look at all these nooks and crannies. Investigate. The cloth's been pulled to one side. And is that a hair on the hem? A short black hair? It's full of uh, it's full of rolled up architecture plans. A sketch of a magic carp too. Perhaps it's part of the uh, plans for Galaxy Hall. That's really cool. This is where we're gonna find the ghost, I assume. There's a faint smell. It seems like berries have been present here. There's a noise in the entry. Um. No, not yet. But there was a noise from the entryway. There's something in here. Yeah, I want to peek inside, but I don't. There's some weird clothes in the cape inside. Oh, that's, that's worse than anything I could have imagined. The sliding windows are slightly charged if they were recently moved. Someone came in here. No. There's a cloud neatly draped to draw back yet. Yeah. Maybe she doesn't like looking at herself. Yeah, I'll peek inside as well. 
architectural models is a model of a Gyarados sculpture on it, and perhaps it's earlier design for Galaxy Hall. Um, I guess we gotta leave. I can leave. Like, the, the, the quest marker is going towards here. Unless it's something, like, entirely different that I'm missing. Wait, hold on a second. Yeah, but, like, it's... It, the quest marker went to the doorway. Wait, is it by the doorway? What is happening here? This is kind of confusing. Um, did something come in the doorway? Like, cause that's the only thing I can like assume that could happen. Cause like, unless like there's, unless if we no, cause cause we did we already did that. I'm 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 really. What could it be? Like, because the thing is, like, like it's... Do we investigate this again? Because it seems like it might be just the same thing. Very easier, yeah. What is the doorway thing? What is up with the doorway thing? No, we don't leave, we leave alone. Like, is it, like... Not behind, like, the thing is, I was thinking maybe it was behind these things here. But it's not behind the sheets or anything. Is it in the mirror? Should we check the mirror once again? No? So, so I'm guessing something came in the doorway. Wait, wait, what? I thought we already checked this. I thought we already checked this, though. So something has come in here since we've done this. Crackle, crackle. Sparks fly from what seems like something ran by you. There's something from back near the closets. Oh, no, it is. It's a freaking... It's a Pichu. It's a Pichu. That's not scary at all. That's adorable. Give me the Pichu. Cervical kid. Are you alright? It's me, Pichu. Are you alright? I heard this strange noise. Pichu's a lovely Pokemon as well. Wait a minute. This Pichu, could it be? It might sound absurd, but I think it might be a Pichu I found injured in the forest a while back. A berry for me? Wait, because I fixed you up? Wait, so the thing haunting my quarters was just a grateful little Pichu? I guess all the wording was pointless to think. I was afraid of something, uh, some spine-chilling thing. Regardless, I owe you. Have a token of my gratitude. There we go. Strange happenings at midnight. Not bad, Barry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Zagwet. See, this is what I mean, though. This side quest was like, I got confused for a tiny bit. But there's nothing tedious about it. You know what I mean? There's nothing, like, ultra-tedious about these type of side quests. Um, they're actually pretty fun. Uh, so we have to do this. We have to do this. The Kichi, the Pokeshi doll, Ponita, Will Wis, uh, Gather Wisps. We can do it totally do this. Actually, we might do this next. Hardy Grains. We have to do that as well. Uh, whereabouts is Anise? She's right. Anise! <laughs> Hello, Anise. How are you? It is I. I was looking for you. I was looking for you for like 10 years. My little dearie, will she not send you searching for a medicinal plant, did she? And me and three leaf little helper land. No one doesn't know this, but it's actually a Pokemon that lives in the Crimson Biolands. Poor Sion will get quite a shock if she finds out, so bring it back to me instead, would you? Best of luck on your search, dearie. I have it. 
Yes. The three leaf Pokemon is. Is. Uh, a Budu. The leaves atop its head in the Crimson Liar Lands. Did we catch anything like that? I don't think we caught anything like that, did we? A three leaf Pokemon with the leaves on top of its head. No, I don't think we caught anything like that yet. We'll probably have to catch it later then. That's fine. I'm trying to think, like, do we know a three leaf Pokemon with leaves on top of its head? Because I'm like, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen it. I have not seen it. Okay, we'll look for it. We'll look for it. Uh, that's fine. I do like in these quests as well that it's like there's like a chance to do like, okay, we'll go back and do this later. You know, we'll go back and do this later. Uh, next quest we're going to do is... Um, uh, let's see. What well, should be the next quest we'll do? I, oh, yeah. The, 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 the hearty grains. Let's go do the hardy grains quest, and then we're gonna do the springy mushroom quest, and then we're gonna do the pony, the ponita quest. All of this is like, you know, I feel like it's gonna be worth it for like at least just like a few things. At least, at least we get to explore a bit more, you know, which is kind of fun. Cause I, ge I genuinely like, like enjoy this game, and I understand that like, you know, like it's, it's, it's like Pokemon's not everyone's cup of tea for sure. Uh, that's why like, you know. Uh, I didn't want to play this right after playing Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Uh, but it definitely is like, you know, I, I enjoy this. And there's no other way I could have really played this, but all the games are coming out right now. Like, this is the best way I can play it is on my channel. Wait, you got the hearty green? Would you let me have it? Um, please, just three stocks. Sure, but if you only if... Only if you agree to stop the building of the, the power plant. You handed three stocks of hearty green. Ah, hearty green is the Crimson Island's finest feature. The sway of those golden brown stalks across the landscape it fills me with yearning for home. I'd wager if you combined hearty grains with other ingredients and bring me out a nasty, a tasty aroma that would make Pokemon gather round. All right, I won't send uh, you back a failure since you're so kindly brought me hearty grains. Tell Choi I set him up with some new wares. Thank you very much. I can hear my cat faintly in the distance climbing up the stairs. He's a big boy. He sounds like a small child <laughs> walking up the stairs. <laughs> He's a big junker. Big chunky boy. And we love him. Okay, so now we can talk to you and give him some more wares. Which actually I think will help us with more items, I'm assuming then. Like maybe we'll be able to collect more items. We've got good new goods in stock, thanks to you. I'm sorry you have to deal with all this. Chow how could be, uh, and I have had some complications before. But thanks to you, we've got an excellent new items to offer. Do buy some. Thank you. Uh, what new items do you have? Can I check? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. These are pretty good. These are pretty good. I like, I like them. I like them. I'll take it. I'll take it. So now the next we can actually do a bunch of quests in a row. Um, but the first one I think we're gonna do is. Uh, so search for the leaves. Uh, Mysterious Will Lewis, cast a Mysterious Will Lewis with, on Windswept Run at night. Uh, the Mushroom one, of course. Yeah, first. Wherever that is. Oh, we also have to go up in a rank. Wait, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. You guys wait there. Pause the video. <laughs> I'll be back in one moment. <laughs> That's the thing though when I play these games, I forget that like it's a video. <laughs> I forget that like I am like making a YouTube video sometimes. Hello, I'd like to rank up. I should have done it last time. Jesus, lazy uh, much? Okay, I guess we have to go rest and then do this. Lazy bones? Jesus. Wish I could rest like this. Unless you're right here, and I'm just being an idiot. Yes. <laughs> this is at your office. Uh, there you go. There's all my stuff. Can I rank up, please? Thank you. Hmm, you have made progress. This means you've earned yourself a star. 
So we now are a three star survey core. Core. Attack on Titans tonight. With this, you officially attain the rank of third star in the Galaxy Expedition team. You can now use Great Balls. Pokemon up to level 40 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards for your earn, uh, you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now too. Nice. Have this as well. It's a further recipe you'll need for crafting. Great Balls. Oh my god. One Apricot, one Iron Chug, one Tumblestone. That's a lot. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. Thank you. Did you hear that, Laventon? And you doubted me. Laventon's like the biggest doubter. I, you'll never be able to be a Pokemon master. Yeah, he said it to me at the start. God damn that Laventon. Most evil person in the world. Wait a second. Are we going to switch around our Pokemon now that we uh, we can get rid of Hi We got rid of Hippotas? In fact, I think we might do it in the pasture right now. Uh, yeah, I would. Um, wait, we already did get... Krognuk, I don't want anymore. Like, I, I saw the evolution and I was like, I'm okay. <laughs> I saw the evolution and I was like, no. Uh, what else can we put our team... I think we should put back on our Psyduck, maybe? Uh, mob, is Mob there? Mob is in the first pasture, I'm guessing. Um, just so we can have, like, an actual, an actual water type with us. Where's Mob? There it is, Mob. Uh, let's put Mob back on the team. Because we have Grass, or, gra like, a kind of a Grass type. We have a Ghost type. We have a Flying type and Poison type. We have Fire and Electricity. Uh, yeah, let's put let's put uh, uh, Mob back in the team for now. I think uh, in terms of water uh, creatures, I probably will want like something like a Tentacool or a Tentacruel as like a final Pokemon. Where's this? Yep, I actually yeah I do want to go here into the Fuel Lands camp. All this is like I don't know like it, it's it's pretty exciting, guys. I like I like playing Pokemon. I I really do. I really do like playing Pokemon. Uh, who is it? You who needed the springy mushrooms. It's kind of nice when it's raining out here, too. Oh, now. That's a nice springy mushroom if I ever did see one. I'm glad you chose to, uh, you chose you, I chose you for my request. You've got it to, it takes to be a fine mushroom forager. By the by, did you know that springy mushrooms like this one multiply in no time? That's why you'll find them all over Obsidian Feedlands. And they're versatile, too. Fry them, stew them, they'll taste great either way. But I digress. Let's get to teaching you my recipe. I'll just use that handy workbench over there. So now we get to learn a recipe. See, side quests are beneficial for us as well. Like, they're clearly beneficial. And here you have it. The delectable mushroom cake. Beloved by... Ooh, the soda of the wild Pokemon. Oh, the Pokemon is there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you can bet. Your bottom toadstool will go after the cake lure. You can use that opening to make your getaway, of course. Uh, or, of course, to try to catch the Pokemon. Here, I'll give you some of my own cake lure. Bases says so you can get crafting right away. Thank you. Now get out there and throw, uh, and throw a generous, no gratuitous number of mushroom cakes to lure Pokemon left, right, and center here. I'm counting on you to make my verse be famous. Well, you picked the wrong person, buddy. You picked the wrong person. I'm not very good at that stuff. Craft some stuff. Let's see. What is this? Uh, mushroom cake. Uh, let's see as well. So we can't make these yet. We need some apricorns. That's fine. I can make it. I can make an apricorn. That's fine. Where's my Pokemon? Uh, we should probably... Yeah, there's a Drifloon here as well, because that's where we caught Drifloon, first of all. Uh, the reason I don't want to, like... I don't want to do Haunter this time again is because, like, I'm kind of in a position now where it's, like... Uh, I don't want to, like, have to do the whole trade to evolve things. Um, it, the timing, especially, like, when I'm constantly in work, uh, is never nice. <laughs> it's never, like, great. Uh... Like it's it's always like you have to like worry like worry about certain aspects. Let's see actually where we have to go now next for our next request. Um, strange ponyta. Well, that's far down here. Let's go. We did not get that one. I mean, let's walk. Like, let's just go. We can fast travel, but like. We don't really need to right now at this moment. Because who knows, you might find a... Po oh my god, it's a it's a red-eyed... Big, big, big boy. Red-eyed big boy. Hello, big boy. Hello, big boy. You want this? Look at this. It's a berry. 
You know you want it. I don't decide what people want. You want this. I don't even want to catch you. I just want a... a I just want a red one. Ah, oh, we got it. It's ours. Awesome. Seed of Mastery. That's just what I wanted. Do you remember I was actually saying that I wanted a Seed of Mastery in the last episode? Oh, okay, okay, a Burmy. See ya. See ya, Burmy. Yeah, and it also seems like it takes a longer time to travel through here. I like it, it but like what again? What I like about the map is oh, there's another wisp up there. Can we get that? How do we obtain that wisp? Is there a way to obtain the wisps? We probably have to go about it up and around. There's no other way. I would like to create some heavy balls as well. So let's get some of these. Heavy balls are nice because they weigh the Pokemon down. That's my idea of what a heavy ball is. I could be wrong. There's no point in us fighting. There's literally no point in us fighting. Like, like I will, I will destroy you. Like, there is no point in us fighting. Are we close? To, yeah, we're we're kind of close to where we have to go here. Not up to Deer Track Heights. We have to go up this way. Oh, we can just do this. I keep forgetting that I have a mythical creature. As a, as a, as a, as a, as a Pokemon. I'm coming back for you. Oh my gosh, should we try and come back for it now? No, I don't think we're high, high enough level yet. Maybe we should try though. That'd be funny. Okay, so we go here. Investigate. It is I. Oh, is that a... A chimchar? That's a chimchar. Right, that's what's, what else it's called? Please, mother. Please let me catch a chimchar. Does that mean we give up, like, oh my god. Um, uh, thunder, thunder wave, strong style. Do it. Do it to this chimchar. It's a level 12 chimchar as well. That's about more powerful than any one of our Pokemons. But still, though, I, lo I know, like, it's a fire type. But, like, maybe sometime down the line we want to, like, change around our, um... Uh, our, our Pokemon. Maybe some sometime down the line we're like, hey, I, I like, it might be nice to, like, drop our starter because I've never done that in the history of Pokemon. But do I want to do that now, though? Do I want to actually drop my, my starter? I think that would be very silly at this point, you know? I know, I've never done it. The starter has always been on my final team. Fine. Okay, and then we also have to catch the... Bonita. Wait, was Chimchar... Hold on a second. Was Chimchar in that team? Was Chimchar a... On that team? Okay, uh, first of all, let's do this. Was was he in the center region? Because I don't remember him from Brilliant Diamond, Shiny Pearl. I mean, unless I saw him and I just didn't... Wait, no, he was. Was he, he was a starter, was he? Why don't I remember Chimchar? <laughs> okay. Let's just pretend I remember Chimchar. Oh, to go back to the Horseshoe Plains. Uh, which we can fast travel back there when we get there. But first of all, uh, there's a few things I want to get. First of all, the Golbat's really cute. But first, I want to get this Wisp. I don't want to ignore the Wisp again. I'm like, As soon as they told me about the Wisp mission, I was just like, okay. Oh, we can't do this while we're getting attacked. Oh, right in your mouth as well. Golbat, I like the design of Golbat. I never like the design of Zubat, I'll be completely honest. Love the design of Golbat. It's just because it's so absurd. It's like this big giant bat. Oh, right in its mouth as well. That's good. Yeah, I always like the design of... Um, the strong styles and agile styles. Really great. Like, I love the addition. I expect even when you get punished for like you, you know do, using it, it's it's a really fun idea. When are you gonna level up, Badu? When are you gonna level up? Why do they stay, Steve? Uh, let's do this. Fuel in this camp. Uh, yeah, we'll go back to the Horseshoe Plains.
I think, uh, yeah, you can see, oh, that's, look at that. You can see the light of the wisp in the distance. Look at it, and you can see the different things happening. That's actually, that's not bad draw distance, especially for like, look at it. You can see the, the wisp in the, dis the distance. Like that's, that's really neat. I mean, like, yeah, it's not like graphically impressive. But, like, what's cool about it is that, like, I know there's a wisp there now if I didn't know there was before. I wonder, though, am I noticing that wisp over there because I know there is a wisp over there and we saw it earlier. That's That could be a thing, too. I could be just, like, um, seeing it from that perspective. But we'll see. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe we'll notice some more as we're going along, too. Who knows? I like to think that, like, I, I wouldn't have noticed it anyway. Get some of these April coins. To build some Pokeballs. I like as well that you, you don't have to wait around to throw these things. You can just do this like this. Wait a second. Okay, so I wonder if we're going to be able to catch this mysterious Ponyta as well. It's a blue flame Ponyta! I got blue flames. Like, so so pretty. Unusual, it's gorgeous. <laughs> okay. We can't sneak through the water, which is hilarious. Wait, is that shiny? So this is what shiny Pokemon are going to look like, I suppose. Hold on a second, actually. Craft. Let's craft some Pokeballs. Uh, Feather Balls. Let's catch some, uh, craft some Heavy Balls. And let's craft some of these as well. Uh, perfect. Uh, because... I wonder if we, yeah, we should throw some Chesto Berries at it. Do you not see it over there? It's right there. Do you not smell it? Oh, please leave me alone right now. Please, Drifloon. Drifloon, I got stuff to do. Me too. I'm killing you. No, Drifloon, me, yeah, come on, it's fine. No, Drifloon, please. Ah, it's over now. You guy, you're gonna be, you're gonna be sorry you ever been with me, baby. Okay, but if this ponytail runs away, look, it's running away now, Drifloon. This is your, I oh, look, you're level six. Go home. That didn't even kill you? You're level six. Yeah, I avoided the attack. Drifloon, I'm like, I'll be completely honest with you. I'll be completely honest with you. My Drifloon's better. Papa is better than whatever you are. Never do that to me again, because I will literally get the Sons of Anarchy after you. I've been watching Sons of Anarchy if you hadn't noticed. And that, sh that show's hilarious, because like, as a teenager when I watched it for the first time, I was genuinely in a position where I was like, I thought these guys were like legit, like cool guys. But as I got older, I realized, like, no, <laughs> they're like the worst people who ever lived. Hey, hey, get back here. Okay. Look, look, I won't fight you. I'm not even here. Look at that. Ooh, nice little bit of food. Nice bit of food, never hurt nobody. Let's try this again. While you're eating, have a bite. <laughs> right in the butt. Now, it's probably not gonna catch. I think we're gonna have to battle it. Oh, we did it, okay. Great. And with that, guys, I think what we might do is end the video here and then come back in the next one and go back to the village. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, this is pretty fun. <laughs> this is actually pretty fun. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.